I think uh, you know uh, what you know what has been reported or whatever Nekta has said. There's nothing new about it. It's already in the public domain, and I think we have discussed this thing before. The, the problem uh, with the negotiation was that you know it was led by the the then core commander, and I think you know it was the whole process was rushed through without giving much thought to the implications. You know the fall, the possible fallout of uh, negotiations, and uh, that's why we we have seen you know a very strong public reaction. Uh, you know from, from Malacca and, and from other places like in Malwa, and you know there was a complete shutter down in Banu the other day. So I think you know this whole process was rushed through. Uh, uh, there was no need for it. All the key stakeholders and uh, you know the, particularly the people. Of, of the conflict zone, people who have suffered in terms of lives and, and, and property and massive uh, dislocation, they should have been consulted. And you know, we have had history of, of uh, negotiations with the GDP. So I don't know why we were so naive to to just get into uh, uh, into this whole thing. I think, you know, uh, the GDP uh, took us for a ride uh, on this. Well, very strong. I mean, you know, they have presence, you know, although, uh, but, uh, except probably for South Uzbekistan, you know, where we have uh, heard reports of them moving around in, in groups, uh, you know, they, they're still uh, in other areas, they're still lying uh, low, keeping low profile, operating largely through sleeper cells. Uh, but we've seen, you know, the manifestation of their presence in the increased uh, increase in the in the number of attacks and and the, 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 the casualties you know the police and other law enforcement agencies are taking so th that is something you know we, we have not seen and uh, you know uh, i can tell you this if you compare ttp activity in pakistan during the in in, in the one year when uh Aban taliban uh, you know are, are in power uh, as compared to when uh, ashraf bani was in power you know, there is a dramatic escalation and, you know, the, which raises a lot of questions. Our official line, you know, or narrative was yeah, that, you know, the GTP was in cahoots with, you know, all, you know, all the terrorist activities were being sponsored. Uh, the GTP is being sponsored by RAW and the NDS. There is no RAW there. Uh, there is no NDS there. But why is this dramatic escalation? I'm sure the Afghan Taliban have their own answer. I just talked to uh, one of their spokesperson. They said, you know, the GTP leadership is not there in, in Afghanistan, but everybody knows that they are there. So, you know, at the government level, I think that we need to some, you know, the government at some point would need to seriously speak to the GTA about it. You know, uh, we were trying our best, you know, to keep things, uh, you know, on uh, on low key because of the sensitivity of the, of the issues and the kind of the relationships, relationship that we have, uh, we have with, with the with the TTA. Well, you know, the TTP, they have, uh, obviously, you know, Wali Masood is, is, is the head honcho of, of the TTP, is leading the negotiations, but, you know, uh, he takes all the TTP splinter groups along. And we've seen that in Kabul, you know, uh, when, you know, the Jamaat ul uh, or OTTP Maman chief, uh, he was there, he's, he's dead now, he was there and so were uh, so many others. He takes, you know, his, his, his group leaders uh, into confidence before he talks to the Pakistanis. We should decide who should we talk to first. Should we talk to the Afghan Taliban or should we talk to the TTP? Now, that is something we need to decide before you know we decide what to do what should be on the table you know what should be the uh, uh, the agenda of, of for the state of pakistan to to engage with the ttp so after the drone strike in Kabul that that took out uh, uh, uh zawai the, the al-qaeda the afghan taliban you know weren't happy with with the with the strike and the ttp was not uh, happy with the strike and they have said it uh, you know that uh, this was one of the reasons uh, why they had to put the negotiations on hold. TTA, you know, it seems to me is using, the, they're leveraging the TTP when it comes to negotiations with Pakistan. And we should see this, number one. Number two, stability, political stability in a way, yes, because the previous core commander and now retired uh, General Faz, he was leading the negotiations. Uh, this was his project since he had to go and it was moved to Bahawalpur, the, the, the whole process was uh, put on hold. Uh, and then 
the new chief had to come in. I think there is some clarity now, far as you know, how to counter the TTP uh, at the tactical level. You know, respond to TTP attacks. Uh, we have seen, you know, some activity here on the ground. You know, the the, the CTD is on the offensive. Other law enforcement, including the military, carrying out, you know, uh, IBOs in certain parts. The larger issue uh, of the, uh, the, you know, the resumption of the peace, uh, so-called peace talks with the T, uh, TTP remains. And I think, you know, at some point in time, the National Security Committee will have to be uh, convened to discuss this and all parliamentary parties and you know, leaders will have to be taken on board. I've heard that now, instead of the military, it would be the civilian leadership who would be leading the negotiations, which should have been uh, the case uh, uh, from the world go. It, it shouldn't have been done by the military. The military can, you know, give their input, you know, uh, assist uh, the the uh, negotiating team, but they shouldn't have been in, in, in the driving seat. They should allow the, 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 the civilians or the civil political leadership to lead the negotiations with TTP when, as and when the talks resume. There has always been this optimism because we thought that, you know, Ashraf Ghani wasn't sincere and that, you know, uh, Ra was so deeply entrenched in, in, in Kabul and that they were using the NDS, you know, to, uh, to support the TTP to, uh, you know, launch attacks in, inside Pakistan. So there, there was, the, uh, you know, a degree of optimism. And that's why, as I said, you know, there was this optimism that, you know, by any means, uh, this whole TTP project finished by uh, end of 2022. Of course, it didn't happen. And our optimism was largely, you know, based on goodwill of of the uh, of the TTA. Before even, you know, the TTA took over, you know, they've been telling us, you know, that we can't use force against TTP because, you know, the TTP had been supporting them, the TTA, by, you know, through, by giving them sanctuaries, uh, you know, men and material support, etc. So, and, you know, they come, come from the same tribal flock, you know, they have ethnic, you know, tribal affinities, not uh, uh, tribal and ethnic affinities. So, th they were in no mood to exert too much pressure on, on the TTP. And this is what they are saying even now. You know, they can facilitate Pakistan, you know, they can bring them to the table to speak to, to the government here in, in, in Pakistan, but they are not willing to use force. We've been hearing reports of, you know, some of the key commanders, they've been relocated to, you know, from away from the border areas, TTA is pressuring them. But to, not, there's nothing on the ground in Pakistan to suggest that that sort of, you know, tactical pressure is yielding any result.